Men come in all shapes and sizes and forms, but some of these guys are just unbelievable. Join me as I show you some men that you likely didn't know existed. Twenty. Sultan Cousin Over the generations of human life, there have been many large and tall people. But in the world today, the largest living human is a man named Sultan Cousin. A man who, when measured in 2009, was the first person to be over 8 feet tall, as measured by the Guinness Book of World Records in over 20 years. His full height, which was measured a few years after, is 8 feet 2 inches tall. Sultan Kulsan was born in 1982, but surprisingly, his growth spurt didn't happen until he was 10 years old. If you're curious as to how something like this happens, it's a rare condition called pituitary gigantism. Your body has a natural entity in the brain called the pituitary gland, and it's that gland that allows you to grow via hormones. It regulates how much you grow based on genetics. However, at times, it can basically run amok, causing gigantism like with Sultan Kosin. There are many struggles to have an unnaturally sized body, including not being able to fit into many buildings, finding the right size clothing, and participating in certain average events. However, Sultan Kozin has made the most of his size, has gotten married, and has even joined the circus and starred in Hollywood movies. Number 19. Tom Staniford If you look at Tom Staniford, you'll notice right away that there is something off about him, but you may not know exactly what. Well, Staniford has been diagnosed with MDP syndrome, which is not only rare, it's extremely rare. So much so that only eight people in the entire world have this very rare illness. But what exactly does this illness do? Well, it makes it so that fat cannot be stored under his skin, thus giving him a very thin and honestly scary-looking physique, which is personified by his face. The irony, though, is that he does have fat in his body, it's just in his bloodstream, and because of that, he has type 2 diabetes. Yet, despite his conditions, he refuses to let it weigh him down, so he became a renowned cyclist, even winning races in Britain. 18. Rolf Buckle You ever look at a guy or gal and go, yeah, I'm glad I'm not like them? Likely because of something they did to their body that you couldn't fathom doing. Well, for this narrator, that would be Rolf Buckle because this is a guy who thought it would be a good idea to get 453 piercings on his body. That's not only wrong, that's scary wrong. I mean, think about it from this perspective. There are so many in his body that his body functions have to be hindered by them, especially in his eyes because he's got piercings everywhere. Seriously though, who just wakes up one day and goes, I want 453 piercings in my body? Like I said, Glad I'm not him. Number 17. Hofbord Julius Bjornsson Anyone who has watched or heard of Game of Thrones likely knows Hofbord Julius Bjornsson because this was the man who played the mountain Gregor Clegane for five seasons, and his impactful presence in season four when he debuted as the new mountain made waves. The man was built like a literal mountain, and he had the accolades in real life to prove it including winning the Arnold Strongman Classic, Europe's Strongest Man, and World's Strongest Man in the same calendar year. The first guy to ever do that. While many scenes he did in GOT were classic, his skull-cracking fight against Oberon is still remembered to this day. Before we continue to show you the many realms of men, so to speak, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss our weekly videos. 16. Jeremy Meeks Okay, I want you to take a look at Jeremy Meeks via these pictures. What do you think is right or wrong with this guy? Yes, he's a criminal, but look beyond that. What do you think he has or had or whatever to make him make this list? A physical condition? Nope. A mental condition? Nope. Technically speaking, he has nothing special about him. But don't tell that to the online masses because when he was arrested on weapons charges in 2015, his mugshot went viral. Not because he had a weird one, but because it was deemed that he was super hot in it. Yep, people liked Jeremy Meeks because he had a hot mugshot. What a world we live in. Oh, and he's still in jail, by the way. Number 15, Kaleem. This is Kaleem, a boy that every single one of us should sympathize with because he was born with unnaturally big hands. 
so big were they that they measured well over a foot from pinky to thumb. And as you can see, the rest of his body didn't grow with him, making this all the more tragic. He's had to quit school because of bullying, and no one is sure of why he has these massive hands because his family cannot take him to a doctor for a diagnosis. 14. Patrick Duell You've likely seen stories or watched TLC shows about people who are severely overweight, but in the case of Patrick Duell, he put them all to shame, all the while being shamed himself because of his size. Want to take a guess to how massive he was? Well, it wasn't 800 pounds, or 900 pounds, or even 1,000 pounds. At one point in time, Patrick weighed an astounding 1,072 pounds, making him the heaviest person in the world, and heavier than a large portion of animals, might I add. His story did take a turn for the better because he had a gastric bypass surgery that allowed him to get 500 pounds off of his body. Still, that would mean he weighs over 500 pounds, and that's still not healthy. Number 13, Carlos Healthy Rodriguez. I'm not trying to make you sick, I swear, and I promise you this is a real guy with a real condition, just not the one you're expecting. You see, when he was a teenager, he got into a car accident that caused him to hit a pole. Doing so caused his head to have a serious deformity that is now on display for the whole world to see. However, his experience has humbled him, and he's using his new form to teach kids the perils and dangers of dangerous driving, especially when it involves drugs and alcohol. 12. Arlindo de Souza. Okay, how many of you out there like to pump iron? Like to buff up your muscles so that you can push your strength to the max? I'm sure many of you know some muscle heads, but do you know any like Arlindo de Souza? I doubt it. To be clear, Arlindo here didn't go and do his training the regular way. He injected his arms with synthol, which is an oil-water mix that can be injected into the body to give a bloated look. What exactly does this do for the body? Nothing actually. It does not increase strength. It just makes the body part look more muscular than it already is. And as you can see from these pictures, it only translates to the area that is injected, giving a very unproportional look to the user. I'll build my muscles the regular way. Thank you. Number 11. Nick Stoberl. I mean, do I have to say it? He has a long tongue. That's his claim to fame. How long is it? Uh, okay, fine. It is nearly four inches in length. Can we move on now? Thanks. 10. Amu Haji. This man here named Amu Haji is either the dirtiest man on earth or your personal hero. Why? Because this is a man who claims, we can't technically prove this and likely no one else can either, that he hasn't taken a bath or bathed for over 60 years. Yeah, you heard me, 60 years. Think about that. Think about all the things that are told to us by our parents or guardians about what happens if we don't take a bath for a few days. Now imagine that for 60 years. Plot to us though, his body doesn't seem to care because he's 80 years old. So were our parents wrong? Who wants to do an experiment to find out? Number nine, Tran Van Hay. Okay, now this is a guy I can respect because Tran Van Hay decided that his hair was too precious to cut. And according to his wife, he didn't cut it for 50 years. By the time he passed away, it was over 22 feet long and weighed over 20 pounds. That's a big set of hair. But why did he let it grow so long? Well, it wasn't because of vanity like I teased earlier. Rather, he had gotten sick after getting previous haircuts and he didn't want that to happen again. Makes sense to me. 8. Chandra Danji Oftentimes, records are made about the tallest men in the world, and we've already showed you one. But what about the smallest man in the world, or more accurately, the smallest to ever live? That would be Chandra Danji, who was no taller than 1 foot 9 inches tall. That's really short. Yet, as of 2015, he was still alive and well, and he died in September of that year at the ripe old age of 75, which goes to show that his height did not hinder him in living life. Number 7. Mehmet Uzurek. Ladies, do you know what they say about men with a big nose? Well, if you believe that, then you need to meet Mehmet Uzurek, who has the Guinness World Record for the largest nose in the world. Insert your own jokes here. 6. Yu Zen Wan. Let's look at Yu Zen Wan and see what makes him so special. Him? He's got really expressive eyes. I'm kidding. Clearly, he's on this list because of his massive amounts of hair. 
In fact, he was listed in 2015 as the hairiest man in the world, which is an honor that is cool. I mean, we've all seen some hairy guys, but he almost looks like a monkey in regards to where the hair is growing and how much of it he has. And just like you would expect from a guy like this, trying to find a person to date is quite rough, and he's still single as far as we can tell. Number 5. Ram Singh Chauhan Men, if you have a mustache, you know that you need to take care of it, and some of you try and grow it out into a refined state that many can appreciate. But none of you have anything compared to Ram Singh Chauhan, who as of 2015 had the longest mustache in the world. How big is the stash? 14 feet in length. Can you imagine what it must have taken to get that length? 30 years, apparently. 4. Paul Karasin Many of the people on this list have conditions or afflictions that led them to being standouts, but in the case of Paul Karasin, he has no one to blame but himself for how he looks now. No, that is not a makeup job or a skin condition in the traditional sense. He is honestly a blue man. You see, he decided that to try and treat his dermatitis that he would drink a special kind of silver. Yeah, you read that right. This guy drank large amounts of silver, and as a result of Argyria, his skin turned blue. He eventually got the nickname of Papa Smurf. He apparently didn't mind the blue skin and lived happily until the age of 62 where he died of a heart attack. Number 3. Sanju Bagat This story is rather horrifying in context because Sanju Bhagat contains something very weird in his belly that is very elongated, his twin. That's right, when he was born, his twin brother was apparently merged within him in the genetic sense, which happens more often than you might think, just not with these results. The odd thing is that he didn't know about this until he went to a doctor in his adult years after it became a medical issue. He'd always thought he just had a large gut. 2. Robert Waldo I found Waldo, and he's huge! You wish to look for the biggest man in the history of history, then Robert Waldo is your guy, and he was so big that he measured an unprecedented 8 feet 11 inches tall. Can you imagine trying to live a life with that size? Think about all the things you'd have to have custom made so that you could live well. Your house would have to be very spacious. You'd have to have clothes custom made so that you could fit your length, your width, and still be flexible. That's not exactly a cheap ask, you know. And that's not to mention food. Tall guys like Waldo and Sultan need many more calories to sustain the body, and thus, money is an issue via their height problems. Not to mention the health problems that comes with having such a height. Number 1. Meren Karimi Nasseri have you ever heard of the Tom Hanks film, The Terminal, about a guy who lives at an airport because of political issues and such? Well, that was based on the real-life story of Maran Karimi Nasseri, who literally lived at an airport in France for 18 years. Long story short, he lost his travel papers after being exiled from Iran, so he couldn't enter France and couldn't go back home. Eventually, he did leave the airport, but only because he required hospitalization, not exactly the happy ending he deserved. Don't you think? Thanks for watching, everyone. What did you think of this very, very group of men? Can you believe what some of them are and what they can do? Do you know another man who could have made this list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.